Hello and welcome to Easy Astronomy. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Pole Master. And while that sounds like something a little bit questionable, no. Not gonna do it. It can actually be a great tool for helping you polar align. Let's take a look. Alright, so here's the deal. This channel was supposed to be started, I guess, yesterday, and I made a video kind of detailing what that means, like what I want my channel to be, and I was originally going to post it, but it sucked. So, I'm just going to give you the quick and dirty right now about what the channel is just supposed to be about and what I set out to accomplish. I think astronomy, as a general rule, is just a hard and I just want to do my best to help people with that, be it through tutorials or equipment reviews, and it it should be fun, which is something that I think some people have kind of lost throughout their endeavors into the hobby. So with that out of the way, let's get into the product. So before we go into this unboxing, I'd like to just get a little bit into what polar alignment actually is, which is it's aligning your telescope exactly on a star so your mount knows exactly in the sky where it is and then can thus track your targets throughout the night, which is very important for astrophotography because you don't want blurry images. But in that system, there's an inherent problem in that it's a very, very slow process. And if, you're, and if you run your equipment from inside like I do, it's a lot of running in and out and in and out. It's just hard. It's, there's no other way to put it. it it's time-consuming, so, and it has to be dark so you can see stars, so it takes, so it eats out of your time that would otherwise be used for observing, which isn't good. And it's also very, very tedious and requires multiple steps. And th thankfully, I have a pier that I can mount my telescope so that it's pointing exactly north so that I, it knows exactly where it is at all times, so I can just fire it up. But for those of you that aren't as lucky or haven't built a pier or can't build a pier uh, and have to set up their equipment every night, it's kind of a pain to do it all the time. And that's where the Pole Master comes in. Uh, the Pole Master claims, and we'll verify this tomorrow night, I think, it claims to be able to polar align within five minutes and within 30 arc seconds, which is amazing because most polar alignments can only come within arc minutes. And this could be a real tool to help you get through uh, the polar alignment process and actually get into observing without being bogged down by the triviality of aligning. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so it came in two boxes and we'll open the little one first. So what we have, I believe, oh my goodness, look at that. It's an Allen wrench. I've, I'm blown away. This is best product ever, 10 out of 10. But anyway, in here, we have what I believe is what's going to mount the polar scope and help it uh, to stay in there. And I think I'll, I'll put a picture up somewhere of my atlas and where the where it's going to go in. And this is this is a lens cap. Amazingly. Come on. doesn't want to come out. Come on! There we go. I am smarter than the plastic bag. That was harder than it really should have been. This is the lens cap, which will be nice. It's it's a little bit flashier than the little plastic thing that the Atlas provides you, so 
It's great, it's just a little QHY CCD logo on it. And so now we get into the actual giant box. Oh, lovely. Driver downloads. Awesome. Wait, not driver downloads, they're diver downloads. Awesome. So... And it looks like it's just going to be the camera. Yeah, there it is. It's not big at all. So we take the lens off. Oh. That'd be great. Broken it before it's even used. So, oh, this is awesome. This is this is actually a really nice big lens, and it's not like the tiny little pinhole ones you'll find on like a like a webcam or anything like that. And if it reads in, oh, interesting. So on the inside here, on the ring inside that doesn't say pole master, it says CCTV lens, which means this is apparently a modified closed circuit TV camera. Hope it works. Then next we have, and I'm assuming this is the cable that lets it talk to all the other stuff. If it ever comes undone. Oh, well, this is a nice long cable. It's got to be at least, yeah, it's got to be about six feet. Attaches apparently via micro USB. Oh, and that's kind of convenient. You have these little screws in here that allow you to secure it to the camera, which is great. Like it's it's honestly one of my pet peeves that you you slew the telescope and then stops and like why isn't anything working and it's because something's something's pulled out it, it, there's always something so it's really nice that we will be able to secure this even though you won't be using it past the preliminary stages and it seems like the last goodie we have in here are screws and string great Now this, what does this string do? Like, where could this, where could this possibly go? Oh, okay. Okay, so it fits inside the lens cap for this. For what purpose, I will never know. I, I don't honestly see a need to hold it like this. But maybe it'll become more practical as we... I can't see it becoming more practical because it would fit inside here, which means the lens cap would be off entirely. So... I, I, I'm baffled by this thing, so if you, if you know what this was originally intended for, please let me know, because I'm, I'm clueless. Yeah. Alright, so anyway, that was the explanation of what the Paul Master really does, and there should be a video following up tomorrow of installation and testing it that night to see if it works. And it will be at night, so it'll be posted a little bit later than this one will be, I think. So, uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. And with that, it's to Dark Nights and Clear Skies. <laughs> okay, God.